we're about to um, head out, right? We're going on a safari today, desert safari. We're running a bit late because of this ham roll DT. Now, here's the thing about him coming here, you know what I mean? It's Mr. Diva. Got to get dressed. I don't even know what it will. It'll take ages to get dressed, come down. I don't even know what he's got on, right? So, but we need to leave in the next minute or we're going to miss the deadline for this safari. So, literally, if he's not here in a minute, we're going to leave him behind. And that's. This ain't even no thing for cameras, we're going to literally leave it. So, are we leaving? You ain't it? 7.15. Let's go, man. Let's go, champ! So we're just arriving at the pickup point to, to go to the safari. We had to leave DT. I've had a guy raging on the phone saying how comes we left him, blah, blah, blah. Listen, everybody in, in the car clearly heard, right? What time did you hear what did Khalid say? Seven. What does Khalid say, Brennan? Seven. Right? Khalid, what did and you I say? I know what he said, seven. <laughs> Khalid's just and Khalid, what did you say? <laughs> seven. Right? Seven. And according to this guy, he heard 7.15. Something completely different to what we heard, but we heard we had to leave him. Now, hopefully for him, we're at the pickup point now. Hopefully for him, they may wait for him. Otherwise, then you know, he's going to have to stay here in the desert, man. <laughs> I'm going to get my camel. <laughs> I was sitting in my room at seven o'clock drinking coffee. No, you just thought, chilling. You thought it was so. Yeah. So obviously I got the wrong time because the last thing ah, I thought was. Ah, thank you. At last, you yeah, admit it. Oh, shit! Dang fucking business! <laughs> this man fucking him, man. Hey, hey. Was at this moment, troops knew he fucked up. Fuck your camels, man. That's a nice ride, man. that falcon flies absolutely amazing to be out here in the middle of the desert um to watch the falcon you know to, first of all riding on the camels right it's amazing you know what i mean just so peaceful you see all the dunes and everything and then after that the, what the guys are showing us with the with the falcons that's amazing as well the way they just swoop in it's just unbelievable and now this driver's just taking us around some little dunes he's, he's being a bit of a falcon himself <laughs> Going to the camp now. Look at this over here, well over there. So I get DT to see what's in the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah. There'll be, there be a lot of people um, say, yeah, Robbie, throw him in, throw him in. <laughs> like um, somebody out of Bond film, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs>
Why is, why is his eyes covered? To be quiet, you know? If I open you want fly. Oh, okay, okay. Now, these are amazing creatures, right? The, the gentleman here was saying to me that they can go for up to, well, hundred, from £100,000, like a falcon, like up to like, spoon. he said there was one that was completely white, yeah, a completely white falcon, that went for a million pounds. See what he said? No, like one, one, dirham. Dirham. One, oh, one million dirham. One million two hundred. One million two hundred dirham, which is still probably, it's that's still probably be about six, six seven hundred thousand pounds for a bird. The sheikh from Kuwait is by that. The sheikh from Kuwait bought it. All right, so I, I know you're not going to be back. You're Don Robbie. I ain't on that level, trust me. For a bird, Jesus! But it's a beautiful bird, beautiful bird. And you saw the way it was just flying earlier. It's amazing the way it just swoops in, and the strength of it. Amazing animal. enjoyed that right because uh, the last time I came to Dubai I did like an experience out it was nice don't get me wrong it was really nice but this one was a more genuine one he did a camel ride for I don't know he must have been on that camel for about uh, over a mile where you know normally you do camel rides they just ride walk you around a, in a circle and take a couple of pictures and that's it this was a proper camel ride through the desert it was so relaxing and refreshing just to see all the sand dunes and everything and then the Bedouin experience in there was really nice, man. It was because it's real, you know what I mean? It's like real UAE. So, love this. Thanks to the guys for hooking it up. That was brilliant. But now it's time to get back to the city. It's really, really windy today. So if you look over there, you can see now, it's become really sandy. You can hardly see. I don't even know how this driver's gonna be able to drive back home, but they'll know. They know everything around there. But um, listen, incredible. I feel blessed, man, to be out in the desert. You know, as I'm walking, as I said, it feels biblical out here. You know what I mean? You're just thinking about back in biblical times when people had to set off from one place to another by camel and stop off at an oasis and that. It's been brilliant. I've loved this. Don Robbie, it's the police. Is he not downstairs? I don't know. The look, the, the thing's normally red if you're not in, but it's not red. Okay, if I go down here, yeah, I'm not coming back up now. Your shit. Yeah, you know what? If he's not downstairs, we're going without him. He's getting taxi. Now it is. Hi. Now it is. Hey, DJ's married shot to the club. I hope he's not downstairs, because we're not even waiting. We're getting straight in the taxi. We're gone. Taxi, we're going with Cali. Yeah, no. Robbie, you can get in the taxi. Yeah. You can get the Uber. Yeah, Uber, Uber. Uber. Like, that's at 8 o'clock, yeah? What time you call this? What time you call this? You're lucky we didn't leave you. <laughs> <laughs> I swear down, yeah? If Khaled was here, we're getting in the car and go. Bro, bro, I heard you running out your mouth outside my room. No, I was using the bathroom. So, you know what I mean? Why are we using the bathroom right? for? And I told everyone to come early because Khaled said quarter past eight. So, you just chill yourself, man. to go into the high the high joint I think it's called um, been told they make the best burgers in Dubai like the best we're gonna find out Come here and ask for the Gunner High. 
Don't Don Robbie, Don Don Chief. Hey, Chief, Chief. You gotta wear one of them. Look, man, gotta wear a hair net. <laughs> Active. <laughs> That's our purely minced, freshly minced beef. Ribeye, brisket, short ribs, chuck. Yeah. The best of the best. Best of the best. Yep. DJ Cali. We the best. <laughs> <laughs> This is the high jam, yeah? So you know this is my blood club, bro. Get up, bro. You lot ain't getting none of this one, bro. Yeah. I'm taking all four of that, bro. I can't wait till Wednesday, you know them way there. Let's see what it say. My blood clot jam. My burger. Not my brother. My burger. You understand? Cheers. So this is our special Gunner High. It has the homemade ranch. It has our special double patty there. American cheese. Extra crispy bacon. And then we have the special Gunner sauce that we're going to put on top. This just makes everything extra amazing. There's too much sauce, man. You get lost in the sauce, man. <laughs> so this is it. It has arrived. This is the Guna High Burger, right? So what we've come here for. Specially made by the guys at High Joint, specially for us. And also what it is, is gonna be on the menu. Um, but it's a secret burger, so you could you have to come in and order it, right? Come in and say, I want a Guna Hyatt, and they'll make it for you. But this is like... This is, roll. is it premium, man? Premium. Premium. All right, so me and DT are going to sample it up now. Four e nine, four e nine. I'm here for you. This is excellent, man. You know, when you eat burgers like this, you're like, I can never go back to eating things like McDonald's again. Mate, I mean, the flavour. Oh, it's delicious, man. No one's ever. Basically, when you come here as a guest, you got to hit up the wall, innit? But no one's ever hit up the burger. Pre the burger, bro. The burger's empty. Why? People's blood clot champion gonna hit that up like. Mm. Big up the man them every day. Big up high joint as well. Big up the man them. Make sure if you're a gooner, you come in. If you don't, you're a ham roll black. Robbie. Big Robbie after this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I want to big up the manager of High Joint. Thanks very much for laying on this special burger for us. It's a fantastic place, man. The, 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 the passion of this guy, right? When he's telling us about the food he's making, he says us about the ingredients. His passion alone would let me eat, right? Even, <laughs> even before anything, you know. You, we, we, you just feel the love in the food already before you've eaten it. So yeah, listen, yeah. thank you very much. No, it's a pleasure really, really having you guys. Always, always. I wish you all the success with this thank place. You, thank you. And um, I love that burger. And I love the fact that he's only making 49. 49. Only 49. Only 49. Only 49, yeah. Only 49, yeah. 49, yeah. And he's serious about it because he was telling me that he has recipes that he'll have that everybody's loving and then he'll just like <laughs> drop it. <laughs> he'll just drop the recipe like that. And I'm like, why'd you do that? He goes, because we just like to keep it exclusive. So. But you want to get one of them 49s, you are getting it early, because after that, never back again. Never. Back again! <laughs>